Hello Leo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. Okay, so today we're going to tap into the energy of the person that hurt you. Okay, we're going to see exactly what it is this person wants you to know. We're also going to see exactly how this person is currently feeling about you. Now, cross watchers do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Also, I do want to thank each and every one of you that have been donating to our channel. I appreciate you so much. I want to thank you from the bottom to the top of my heart. All right. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the Mystic Goddess channel as of yet, make sure that you subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll get a notification when I post messages from spirit to you. Okay, so Leo, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. Now, the overall energy of what this person wants you to know, we have the Ten of Swords. We also have Release. Okay. And we have this message of your person saying, I can still feel you. Okay. All right. So with this energy okay your person saying that they can still feel you okay so there's some whoever this person is okay they still feel you energetically and i feel as though for some of you this may be mutual energy or you two may be possibly even mirroring each other i feel as though um you can still feel this person energetic energetically as well i feel as though if there are times where you feel, if you feel like depressed or all of a sudden you start thinking about this person or if you're not sleeping well at night or, you know, anything like some type of ne negative emotions that hit you suddenly, I feel as though it's because this person is still energetically attached to you, okay? Now... When it comes to, to the person that hurt you, they're having a very hard time releasing some type of betrayal, some type of ending that happened between the two of you. OK, so if the two of you ended things, it's really hard for them to release this. OK, if um, if the two of you are still together or still dealing with each other, there's some type of betrayal where this person hurt you to the point where. It was just the worst type of betrayal. Like it couldn't get much worse. Okay. It's hard for for the two of you to get over it. It's hard for you, to, the two of you to get past it. Okay. And you shouldn't, and excuse me for saying get over it because you shouldn't have to get over anything. This person should have never hurt you the way that they did. Because I see here that you were stabbed in the back numerous times by this person. If any of you have ended things with them, it was from their own doing. Like this person pretty much dug a hole for themselves. They betrayed you. And for a lot of you, they betrayed you numerous times. Okay. I feel as though for a lot of you, you're trying to get over some type of an ending or some type of betrayal. You guys are trying to release it. But I feel as though there's still like a court there. Like the two of you are kind of still attached to each other energetically. But you are wanting to release this person. But it's kind of it's it's not as easy as it as it sounds or as easy as it looks. OK, but regardless, this person is in. I, I feel as though a lot of grief like they're they've been having some bad days as well. Um, but when it comes to this ending, they're not able to release you. Okay. They don't want to let, let you go. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and look a little further into this. The overall energy here for what this person wants you to know is isolation. Okay. We also have impartiality. We have gratitude. We also have impatience. Despondence. Service. We also have um, acceptance. And we have forgiveness here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have quest. Okay. So... With what, the, with 
Ugh, excuse me, with what I can see here, okay? You guys have isolated yourself from someone. Your person's telling me that even though the two of you have been isolated from each other or if you've been withdrawing your energy from each other, um, they've been acting as though they're not as affected as they really are, okay? Now, when it comes to this person, if you have been withdrawing your energy, they're making, they may make it seem as though they don't really care or it doesn't make a difference to them whether the two of you have something to do with each other or not. They're acting as though they're impartial to this isolation or to this um, betrayal that happened, okay? But in reality, this person is majorly affected by, by you not giving them your energy or by you isolating yourself, okay? Now, this person is saying that they are really thankful that you came into their life. For some of you, you may have a child with this person. For others of you, um, I feel as though there could have been a lot of growth here. But whoever you're dealing with, I feel as though... I don't know why the word entanglement out of all these readings that I've been doing, I've never heard that come to my mind, but I heard entanglement and I feel as though it had something to do with love here. There are two women here, so there may have been a third party for some of you. Okay. But regardless, this person is thankful that you came into their life. I feel as though this person also, they don't want you to move on with anyone else. This person wants to tie down your heart. They want your heart to be with them, okay? This person is also impatient when it comes to reconciling with you. I feel as though they want you to hurry up and get over this betrayal, okay? They want you to just get over it. But um, this person really hurts you a lot. You you were majorly affected by this. Now, I do also feel as though whoever you're dealing with, they're in a lot of grief. This person's really mourning. I feel as though um, there's also some type of bitterness here. If you have a child with this person and if they're dealing with someone else or if they dealt with some type of third party that knew about you, that other person cannot stand you. Like They don't like you at all, especially if you have a child with that person. Like, look how this person is looking at this other person, okay? Like, in disgust, okay? I also feel as though um, the thought of you moving on without them, like, it really makes them feel some type of way. You were really good to this person. I feel as though um, you were really there for them, okay? You were really there for them and you accepted this person for who they really are. Okay. You accepted them in the beginning. They weren't perfect, but they were perfect for you at the time. Okay. You accepted them flaws and all, and they're realizing that, or they are admitting that you accepted them for who they were. Okay. This person also is saying that they want you to forgive them. Okay, some of you may have already forgiven this person. Some of you may be holding on to a little bit of a grudge because this person hurt you so deeply, which is understandable. But this person, um, I feel as though they really want to get in the way of like your path. Like this, this is someone that doesn't want you moving forward. Okay, they don't want to see you moving forward. They want to try to reconcile this connection. They want you to move forward with them. They don't want to see you with anyone else. For those of you that are healing, I do see that you do have at least one angel beside you every step of the way. That's that's really helping you through this. So you guys are trying to be strong. You're trying to persevere. For those of you that have ended things, you're really trying your best not to reconcile with this person. Like you're really trying to persevere through this, but it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy, but um, I feel as though it's kind of bittersweet for you guys because like this is someone that you had a lot of love for, but at the same time, they did you so dirty, you know, to the point where you're not able to just really look over things and recover this relationship. Okay, now for a lot of you, this person was destined to be into your, they were destined to be in your life. Um, I do see that your person is praying. They're praying that they can make things better with you, okay? But I feel as though um, they feel rejected by you, okay? They feel rejected. And I feel like a lot of you are rejecting this person because you feel like they're still hiding something, okay? 
You feel as though there's something that they're still hiding. Regardless, um, the fact that you are isolating yourself, this person cannot stand it. Like they, they, they don't like it. Okay. They, they don't like the thought of you being away from them, of you moving on, of you growing stronger. Okay. Without them, they don't like it. Okay. Now, I also feel as though whoever you're dealing with or whoever this person is that hurt, that broke your heart, whether you're dealing with them currently or not, this person's impatient. They're being very impatient in regards to forgiveness. They want you to hurry up and, and forgive them. Like they want, they want you to forgive them quickly. They feel like you're moving too slow as far as forgiving them. But the thing about it is they did you really, really dirty and, um, they caused this ending, but they want you to hurry up and get over it. It doesn't work that way because I feel as though a lot of you want to make sure that this person has learned their lesson. If you did decide to reconcile or before you accept, you know, accept any type of um, reconciliation or any type of offer that this person gives you. OK, you don't want to fall back into the same trap or you don't want to be hurt or betrayed again. OK, but just know at times this person acts as though they don't care okay but they really feel very deeply about the two of you ending things or you two being in a bad place in regards to your relationship okay all right so yeah they're having a really hard time releasing you whether they're showing it or not they're having a very hard time Okay, so let's tap into this Ten of Swords energy a little further here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We also have the Queen of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? Ugh, so, this person is saying that you've been withdrawing your energy from them. You haven't been doing much in regards to reconciling this connection, um, and they feel as though they're, they've lost you. Okay. This person is saying that you make them like you're very cold towards them or you, or you have left them out in the cold, but it's all because of this heartbreak. And I, like I said, I feel as though for a lot of you, it was in regards to a third party. There was some type of competition here. Now, for some of you, there may have been some hurtful words spoken and, you know, between you and this person. There may have been a little bit of drama or they there possibly may be in the future. OK, but there's someone here that's not you, Leo. This is not you. And so I feel as though the reason why you're withdrawing your energy is because of this other person. OK, now I do feel as though you had unconditional love for this person. I feel as though the two, the two, the two of you guys um, really did love each other at some point you may still love each other i also feel as though um you're trying your best not to get like deep into your emotions when it comes to them okay a lot of you are not reconciling with this person because of especially those of you that that know about a third party that's the reason why you're not reconciling because you feel as though this third party is still in the picture okay you feel as though they may still be holding on to someone else. You feel like this person has a decision to make in regards to you and maybe another connection that they have. Okay. But um, this was destined. This was destined to happen. The two of you were brought into each other's lives to teach you a lesson. I do see that this person wants things to change between the two of you. They're hoping that things will change, but this person has a lesson that they need to learn because as of now, I'm seeing that they are still dealing with a third party. Okay. They are still, they're trying to reconcile this connection with you, but they haven't completely released someone else from, from the past. Okay. They have a decision here to make and they're not really making a decision. They're just sitting here. 
okay? Also, this person wants to, they want you to be blind to what's really going on, okay? They don't want you to, like, they don't want you to see the truth that they're holding things back from you. They're holding information back, like they're guarded. They're keeping things from you, okay? For some of you, your person may be going through some type of financial difficulties and they may be trying to save money, okay? I heard stingy. So some of you may be dealing with someone that's a little stingy with their finances or something of that nature, or they may be stingy with giving you information. They just don't want to tell you exactly what's going on, like they're holding things back from you, okay? But yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak here because someone isn't choosing someone's not making a decision i also feel like for some of you um if this person hasn't done this already they may do this in the future but i see a standstill with communication there may be times where this person doesn't communicate with you or you may not communicate with them Regardless of whether it's you or them, it causes heartbreak in the other person. Like when this person doesn't speak with you or when you're not communicating with them, when you're not letting them know what's going on, they feel some type of way about it. It hurts them. Um, I feel as though with you, it kind of, it may hurt you too to not know the complete truth about the situation or there have, has been times where it, it hurts you to not know the, the truth. In regards to this person because they are hiding someone else okay and I feel like with a lot of you you may think that this just can't go anywhere because this person has done too much okay um, they are or they were giving their time to someone else maybe even money or resources or, or something of that nature okay but this person does see you as wish Ooh, excuse me, I cannot talk today. This person does see you as wish fulfillment, okay? They are actually really praying. Um, they're also keeping faith that everything is going to work out between the two of you. Hmm. This person sees you as being fine without them. They feel like you're doing fine without them. Okay, and a lot of you are like when it comes to finances, um, I see you doing doing decent. You're going to be be independent. You're going to be doing well. And if you're having any kind of financial difficulties at this, at this time, I see things getting better for you. But expect this person to be reaching out to you. For a lot of you, this person is waiting on you to reach out to them. Okay. For those of you that have a child with this person, you know, they may try to, um, they'll use anything to communicate with you, like any reason to communicate with you. They may ask about the child, but in reality, they just want to speak with you, okay? Now, that's not for everybody. It's just for if you have a child with this person, okay? But in reality, they really want a new start. For others of you, um, this person is trying to remain optimistic that you'll start communicating with them okay they definitely want a new start with you but i feel as though um when it comes to you you feel as though this person might be manipulating you this person is also having some negative thoughts like they're they're feeling really trapped in their mind in regards to some type of a new start hmm whoever this is they know that you're a good person they know that you're very nurturing they see you as someone that they could be with very long term. For others of you, you may be trapped in your mind or you may have been trapped in your mind about a third party thinking that they're dealing with someone else. Okay. Hmm. Now, when it comes to this, yeah, look at this. I see you guys being either you're trapped in your mind about this person having another lover you may have been in the past trapped in your mind about this. Um, but I see them stressing too. I see them stressing, thinking that you have someone else, that you have this new start. They feel as though that's why you walked away from them or that you're going to walk away from them to take advantage of a new start with someone else, okay? Hmm. Some of you may have communicated to this person that you wanted to completely end things, okay? And just... 
if you have kids with them, you may have told them like, I, I want to end this and just focus on the uh, focus on our kid, focus on our child. For others of you, if you don't have a child with this person, you may have just, you know, told them, hey, I, this isn't going to work. I just want to end things. But whoever this person is, they're absolutely obsessed with being in a relationship with you. Oof. But for some of you, they're not telling you that they want this new cycle with you. They feel as though you're getting attention from other people. They want to move forward with you, but they're not really doing anything right now. They're just really in their head. They really want to work on things with you. Yeah, here you are. They want to work on things with you. Okay. But for some of you, they're not telling you. Okay. For some of you, they're not telling you. You just want things to get better. Some of you may be thinking about moving. That's just for a handful of you. For some of you, this person feels as though you may move on and not tell them. Like you might start dealing with someone else and not let them know. Hmm. Whoever you're dealing with, they have some control issues. Like they're very stubborn. You can't really tell them much of anything. They may also be telling you that, um, they may also be telling you that they're serious about, you know, moving on or, or not moving on, but they may be telling you that they're serious about things getting better between the two of you, or they may be serious about making this relationship work. Be careful with them because I do feel as though they are being manipulative. They kind of know how to get over on you or they know how to get their way with you. Okay. Spirit is also saying to make sure that you stay balanced. Okay. Um, don't give into any type of pettiness with this person because I feel as though they have a way of being petty or they know how to, they know how to get to you with words. Okay. They're not, they're, they're not someone very loyal. You can't really trust them completely. Not at this time. Okay. This person has some growing they need to do. Okay. They have some growing they need to do. This person, um, I see them offering to you, but at the same time, it's a manipulative offer. Like, I feel like you're not going to be able to trust it. Okay. Because if you do get involved with this person, they're not going to give you what you deserve emotionally. Okay, but I feel as though a lot of you see that. Some of you may see this person as a player and you're tired of it. You feel as though they have options. Whoever you're dealing with, they're regretting the past. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, this person may have um, been dealing with someone that they work with, like a third party that they work with. For others of you, this person is focused on work. Okay. They're just focused on work. But there's definitely some where, oh yeah, where there was a third party. And it may have been in the workplace or um, it may have been with like someone that they thought had money or something of that nature. That's not for everybody. Okay. But yeah, this person's going to come out of nowhere and try to get back together with you. But I see you're going to have your guard up when it comes to reconciling with this person and getting back into a relationship with them. Okay, you're going to be guarded. For some of you, you may feel as though they're already in a relationship. Okay, but regardless, you're going to have wish fulfillment. Okay, spirit is saying to look toward the future because as of now, this person needs to grow. This person needs to grow. Um, and if you were to get with this person right now, the tower would come like it wouldn't last because, um, it, this relationship wouldn't be built on a stable foundation because whoever you're dealing with, they kind of, they're a player, they're a charmer. They have eyes for everybody. This person is also watching you to make sure that you haven't moved forward. Wow. This is a lot. Oh, I'm trying not to make this reading too long guys, because I know that everybody doesn't like long reading. So... I could have read your person for days. <laughs> I really could have. This person, um, they're sneaky. You have to, you know, watch them because I feel like um, they do miss you and they want to reconcile with you. But I also feel as though they are entertaining others and they're not completely telling you about it. They may be telling you they're only focused on you and they're not. Or they may have done that in the past. Okay. So take this how it resonates. It could be past energy. 
it could be something going on right now or it can be present energy um i'm sorry it can be future energy as well okay so your person is saying that you're they can still feel you that um they're still attached to you energetically let's see what else this person wants you to know what is it spirit that this person wants me to know any more messages spirit okay no other compares to you okay so this person wants you to know regardless of any other connection they've had um no other compares to you i've thought a lot about you lately i told you this person has been stressing out so if you catch yourself all of a sudden thinking about this person out of the blue it's because they're thinking about you and like i said i do see them watching you because they don't want anybody else to get you okay your words linger in my mind. So there's something that you said to this person and they're still thinking about it. You may have spoke some type of truth to them. In regards, especially to this betrayal or how they did you. There's something that you spoke to this person where they're um, still thinking about it. My mind and heart always comes back to you. I told you they're not going anywhere. They make it seem as though they don't care, but they're not really going anywhere. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. And you didn't, Leo. But at least they're admitting it. They're admitting that they treated you badly. And you didn't deserve it. Because like I said, they did the worst of the worst to you. Okay? They did. Wh whatever happened, it was their own doing. It was their own doing. Like, they did the worst of the worst. And I feel as though they've done it multiple times. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. So they're admitting again that they screwed up. But I feel as though this person does love you, but they have some growing to do. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. I feel as though this is your energy, Leo. This person has um, damaged you in a way. I do feel as though a lot of you guys are healing. But regardless, um, regardless you you can't do this for a lot of you 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 just can't do it even if you want to it's like in your spirit you just feel as though something's not right mm. thank you spirit i can't seem to find the right words to say to you i told you guys see i can't seem to find the right words to say to you how about the truth just say the truth see that's where that manipulative energy is coming in at. i told you guys to be careful because they tell lies whoever this is like they're holding back they're not telling you everything they just want to tell you exactly what they need to tell you to get back with you or to get you back and they're you, they want to get back in your in your good graces you know and so they'll say whatever it is that they need to say to get you where they want you okay so the reason why they're still feeling the reason why you guys may feel like there may be times where you're not sleeping well or you just all of a sudden think about this person. That's because they're thinking about how badly they treated you. And you're, for some of you, you know, there's still a cord attached there, an energetic cord. So you can feel what this person is feeling. So it's not you feeling this way all the time. Sometimes you're feeling your person's energy. Okay. Mm, this is kind of deep. You know, they just messed up. They really did. And they, they can't get over you. This is not someone that's going to let you go. No time soon. Even though um, they may act as though they don't care at times. Oh, they care. Okay. They care a lot. So they're having trouble or they're having problems getting over this ending or this betrayal that they did to you. Like, it's, it's really messing with them as it should okay all right well leo that is your reading if you guys resonated with this please give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the mystic goddess channel i love to have you as a part of the mystic family and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you'll get an alert whenever i post messages from spirit to you I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.